Hey guys, welcome back. Now, are you aware of the fact that your bedroom design may be actually ruining your sleep? Now, this is a really serious situation. We spend a third of our lives in our bedrooms and they need to be calm, serene. They need to be restful and zen-like. Now, today I've got six tips on how to convert your bedroom into something that looks like one of these, regardless of the size of the bedroom or your budget. <laughs> The number one tip for getting a zen bedroom is your color is key. It's super important that you keep your overall palette of your bedroom soft, inviting, and sort of blended well together. Monochromatics can work, but you can use variations on colors. But here's the colors that you want to be leaning towards. You want them to be nature. You want to think about the soft blue of the sky, ocean, sand, wood, natural wool, water, plants, all of those natural colors blend well together and create a very interesting, soft, restful space for you to sleep in. You can see these bedrooms, these are gorgeous. They're all sort of neutral tonal stories, but you can do a green, you can do a blue, you can add a bit of a pop of color as long as it's part of the palette building that you're doing and not something super strong and in another direction. Now, super important to remember about color is that you have to avoid brilliant hues of red, orange, and yellow. Oh my gosh, these colors are sleep killers. So we want to avoid these at all costs. So tip number two for a Zen bedroom is you have to address your window treatments. Now, people may say, yeah, I can sleep in anything, but the reality of it is you sleep better when a room is darkened. So we have to address the window in the room. Regardless of your style statement, a lot of people will just opt for drapery as a solution in a bedroom, and that's fine, but you wanna make sure that it can definitely block out light as adequately as you need it. Now, it's all lovely to see these rooms that have all these soft white drapery, but what you can do, if that's a treatment that you're already dealing with, is add another shade underneath it. There's a secret. Think about an under the sheer treatment, like a Roman shade, a roller shade, or even a solar shade that can be blacked out. So those can be a double layer, like you see here in this window, that really gives you that light, fluffy quality to the over drapery, but then gives you that light darkening effect that gives you that zen sleep experience. Now, if you don't have white drapery, you can just go with other treatments like cellular treatments like you see here, or roller shades, or Roman shades. All three of those are great options. If you wanna learn more about window treatments, check out this video. And one more thing about windows that you wanna make sure you include. When you're trying to do a Zen space, you wanna make sure that the window treatment solutions, the colors blend with the walls and are not an accent tone because that creates a second focal point and you really want your bed or your bed wall to be the main focal point of the bedroom during the day. So no accent drapery in a bedroom. Now, tip number three for a Zen bedroom is handling your bedding properly. Now, super important with your beds because we spend a third of our life in there, right? So we wanna make sure that our bedding is yumalicious and also looks beautiful in this new sort of zen environment that you're placing it in. So you may want to reprise or refresh your sheets and your bedding. Think about things like cotton or even bamboo sheeting. That's fantastic and it comes in a whole range of lovely colors. You can see that here. Then you can mix that up with some different textures of perhaps the same color, just like what you've got with this mohair bedspread. That's super interesting looking. Or maybe you just wanna throw a cotton throw that's super chunky and lovely on the bed that gives you a lot of different texture. Don't forget about accent pillows, which is where you can add in that little bit of a pop of color. You see some nice sort of tonal grayish ones there that kind of accentuate it a little bit. So you wanna create layers of bedding that work for your location on the planet. 
Maybe you're in the tropics, maybe you're up north, but you wanna make sure that those layers respond to both what you're gonna to wanna to sleep in and what looks great in the bedroom. Hey guys, and one quick thing, if you're new to the channel and you're liking these tips, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell. It's super important and we so appreciate it. Now, moving on. Okay guys, tip number four for a zen bedroom, and this one's a super important one, is bedrooms need to be clutter-free zones. That is crucial. We actually understand subconsciously when our space is super disorganized or overfilled. So it's important that you not only edit, but you handle all of your storage needs. Now, one of the things that I find most people really don't do anything with is their under bed storage. There are some great options out there for under bed storage that roll out, they're inexpensive, they're great to do, and you can put a lot underneath that bed. Now, the other things that you want to consider are things that are closed spaces that you can stuff things into and then close them, like beautiful wardrobes or drawers, etc. things like that. You can also do open shelving with baskets that are solid sided, which is great. So that way you don't see all the clutter inside the clear baskets. Those are all really great solutions to try and make sure everything that you need is in the bedroom, but it still feels clean and serene. And one major thing you wanna make sure you avoid is the rolling wardrobe cart, guys. Please, these always look fabulous in the photo, but the, they really look like in your room is this. So skip those all together because they're a clutter magnet for sure. Now, tip number five for a Zen bedroom is bringing in nature. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a view out your bedroom window like these folks do, you got plenty of nature already happening, but if you're like many of us, you're gonna need to include a plant of some kind. You can add a big potted plant. I love this little one that's on the sill over there, something on the nightstand. All of those are good. Now, you wanna make sure you know which ones to include into a bedroom because there are plants that are better than others for sleeping. So you wanna make sure that you get the species right in there and what if you're in a small space? Well, you can always hang a little guy like this one here is in the corner. That's always a nice little solution as well. But here's what you want to avoid is overdoing the plants. So one or two, bringing in nature, a good idea. And it definitely helps to create that Zen environment for your bedroom. Guys, if you want to get more design answers about your specific home, then you absolutely have to check out Design Space. It's my super groovy site that's not like anything else in the world. And we have just introduced a new app. So literally, it's like walking around having me in your pocket. Be sure and check out this playlist that I've created just for this video. It's all things about how to create that Zen bedroom you need in your life. And I'll see you soon.